uh, it says there are a variety of opportunities to engage with IARPA, and a seedling is another option to receive funding for your ideas. These are shorter 9- to 12-month research efforts designed to take an idea from disbelief to doubt. <laughs> <laughs> and some of these are just really... Uh, what's interesting is, I would imagine... You know, if you, at first I think a lot of this is about big data and machine learning, but some of it's just very... You know, uh, how, a, how a meme becomes a uh, reality, you know, or a spectral holographic optical processing or, you know, a study of uh, smart devices. Uh, I guess all of this stuff is, is of great import to national policy. Uh, it's just, it's, it's fascinating. Right. Yeah, I think the, the national intelligence mission, which is really about understanding events in the world and anticipating events in the world, communicating uh, events, uh, all of that requires such a broad range of disciplines uh, to be advanced. So we fund work in physics, in engineering, biology, uh, chemistry, sociology, psychology, political science. Some of the, the work, in fact, that we're probably best known for is uh, in human judgment and decision making. Uh, because when, when analysts make decisions about what's happening in the world, it really is coming down to a question of what kinds of biases and heuristics do human analysts use in understanding the world, and how do we improve those? Um, so we ran the world's largest forecasting tournament that involved around 40,000 people making judgments about um, um, uh, millions of judgments about global events, um, and tried to characterize what distinguishes the strong forecasters, the accurate forecasters, from those who are not quite as accurate. So doing fundamental work on cognitive psychology is something that turns out is incredibly important to national intelligence, but um, as are those other topics that you listed. For instance, holography is something um, uh, that's important for presenting information, but uh, there's also optical computing uh, that allows us to, um, uh, to leverage light uh, to perform um, information processing. Um, memes are, you know, concepts that are sort of spread throughout uh, a society. It's really important to understand those. For example, um, how do we understand the spread of uh, extremist thought uh, in different kinds of social media? Um, how can we understand the spread of misinformation? Um, that's important in order to analyze um, uh, how uh, events may be affected by social media in other countries. Um, and then we do quite a lot of work in uh, understanding um, how uh, uh, diseases are, are changing over time, how uh, diseases evolve over time, um, because that affects not only our, our own population uh, that might be um, posted overseas, uh, but also affects uh, global health and global stability uh, in um, in ways that I think are, you know, dramatically illustrated uh, in the in the last few years with Ebola, chikungunya, and and Zika. Um, to give one example, we co-fund a, a project with Microsoft Research uh, to develop a new kind of mosquito trap uh, that allows us to much more quickly analyze uh, diseases that are spread by mosquito. Um, and now that trap is, is being deployed uh, by Microsoft in, uh, in Florida and, and Texas for, for Zika um, control. Um, but it has much broader applications to public health around the world.